Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI. We are currently in the Zwadrust region. Post game 100% completion. What that means of course that we have to get all the sparkly spots in the Zwadrust region. Um, it's actually kind of cool because I made a mistake. The Zwadrust region is its own region and the Dungeon region is its also its own region. So that's kind of cool. So I'm hoping that this will lead us to a situation where uh, we can split them into two episodes because it's going to be too much to explore in one episode. First thing we want to do is start getting these sparkly spots going. So we are on there. No sparkly spots here, but we need to speak to everybody. So, my goodness, are you the one who defeated the Lord of Shadows? Well, thank you. It is a great honor to meet you. Okay, thank you. Ah, just to sip my water there. Just to uh, clear my throat a bit. So, we're going to be looking for every single barrel, pot, fighting one of each monster. Speaking to every single character, reading every single book, and looking for any possible silver doors or books that we cannot yet read. That is basically our goal in these 100% post game uh, let's plays. Stuff like the silver doors and the forbidden books, whatever they might be. I get the feeling that the forbidden books will probably be story later. I still kind of quite believe that you defeated a lot of shadows, but I'm grateful that you did. The docks are live now, then they've been for a long time. Um, anyway, as I was saying, um, we. Finding, opening and exploring of all these silver doors, I'm going to obviously be doing off camera. And the, dude, you can see that tree now everywhere you go. I'm not kidding, but I swear to God, I never noticed the tree before this. Just opening my booklet here to get to my my silver door and book section. Um, but now we can see the just silver tree from like everywhere. It's so insane. Here we are. Bum, 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 bum. Here's one of our talking cows, our friendly talking cows. And uh, sparkly spots. So we've got one sparkly spot down here, it seems. Got a couple of these dancing devils. Let's take them out. Got to kill one of everything. So this will be nice and short, luckily. So that's kind of nice. I think the dungeon area is going to be very hard. Now, it's actually... It's open. It's actually a, a difficult situation. Right now. The dungeon area, which is after the Zwarjus uh, area. We win again. The Zwarjus region, if you will. It is where the shiny light is, the light that they kind of implemented or implied would be going on with this game now. I don't know if I should do that yet, you know. Like I wanna explore all the areas in order, but you know the dangerous region happens to have the light that goes on with the game. So it does cause a little bit of a problem for us on, on should we or should we not go for it yet? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out, I guess. For now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kill one of everything here so far and get all the items in this area. I think that's a nice way to start this out. I mean, this is completely unnecessary. But whatever. Let's overkill them one of them. Hey, we got a fairy flat. Okay, we're gonna find more of these guys. A little bit of a sparky spot selection. So, so far it looks like the only area that, um, the only area that had like a different kind of sparkly was Gondolia, uh, Galopolis, sorry, I keep saying Gondolia, but I do of course mean Galopolis. Galopolis had the uh, one we could only get at night time, so that was kind of interesting how that uh, worked out for us. But uh, we did it, and that's all that matters. Group of enemies appear. Oh, Jade's going first. So you just hit the same one. What? What's the point? <laughs> what's the point of having oh, if we hit all the guys who hit the same one? No! So I don't think at this point you need to use Giga Slash. Just normal attacks to go to the Pretty good. So nice and easy. It's still weird that I dual wield with Serena, but I think it's fine. Oh, you actually missed one all the way at the entrance. So let's make our way there quickly. Okay? Oh, that ancient from this one. So we fought these guys, we fought the troll, we fought these little dancer boys. Hey, is the one in this right Who's that? No one of the dancer boys. So Zwarjus region should be super quick. I think we're going to be able to complete the Zwarjus region really, really fast, which is uh, nice. It's nice in the sense that uh, we don't have to spend too much time in the Zwarjus region. It's just a little sad in the sense because it's actually kind of a small one, so it's going to be a very quick episode, a very short episode. Some of these, I actually thought about like something like Lana Lulu, 
It's gonna be very quick. Um, something like Nordica is gonna be pretty quick, and something like the Zwarjus region is gonna be pretty quick. So there's quite a few areas that will actually not be difficult at all to complete. And be very very quick to do, which is maybe good, maybe bad. I don't know. Hard to know for sure. We did it, darlings. I feel like I might be a little bit overpowered right now. Okay, so far so good. Looking for any more sparklies. Got two in the woods and one oh, on the side. That's a little bit far to go, but we gotta do it. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Got a couple of enemies right here. Hello. Now there is this uh, seal on this door and this origins. Maybe we can get in there now. You know, maybe when we finish the game, now we can get in. Who knows? I don't think we ever looked. I think we just went straight to cobblestone. So there's still a possibility we can get into that little um, dark secret type area over here. It's possible. Oops. But first, I gotta kill one of everything here. <laughs> no. You ever start running and you just stop. <laughs> I think he got stuck behind the uh, the wall. Which is kind of weird. How does it get stuck behind the wall? Ooh, my people might be strong. Maybe. Maybe not. I oh, know, maybe, maybe. We did it, darlings! We did. So we're up to two here, which are in, the, in this lottery type stuff, the poison. I'm running through right now. Cool. I'm gonna head to the other one all the way down here first. No reason to fight more of those guys. As you can see that tree so clearly. Look at that, that's insane. That's insane. So the dangerous region is actually the, the, the problematic one, not the Zwarjus region. I said it was the Zwarjus region, but it's actually the dangerous region. That one's going to be a very, very long episode. And um, this one on the other hand, luckily, will be a much shorter episode, which is kind of nice. So, depending on if those ruins unlock, maybe those ruins unlock and then leads to a secret area or like a new exploration area, that would be cool. I always like exploring dungeons. There was a dungeon in uh, Dragon Quest 8 really early in the game. An underground dungeon if you want. It was really cool. I actually really, really enjoyed exploring it. Probably one of my favorite areas in the game to explore for me, honestly. So there's one of those little spockies. I think that does mean we have both spockies now, so... I'm gonna go to the... Uh, I mean, since I'm here, I might as well go to this one, whatever. Probably not gonna be able to open anything anyway, but... It looks like it's something you're gonna need something specific. So we cannot, we can still not open that door. That door is still not accessible for us. A little bit faster, but it's fine. Let's head down here. It's like these very clearly beautiful underground ruins. You gotta ask yourself, like, why? You know. Listen to the music. The music changed as if it was a, a new area that we went into. Do you hear? Interesting. I found that very interesting. Okay, sparklies. Oh. I believe it is a new area because there's a map. Interesting. So sparkly wise, there's only like three left. One, the one is that really weird one that's on like the uh, on the. Uh, Windmill, if you will. The uh, gremlins we have not fought yet. Vicious Groblin. I wasn't actually sure whose turn it was. <laughs> I was like, is that Jade or is that Salvander's turn? I can't tell. Excuse me. Did I do all right? A little bit of a hood. Is this a hood? A hatchy man? A hoodlum. Oh my goodness, Jade. Oh, she is not in the mood for, for problems. She's like, listen, um, I got things to do, places to be, people to kill, apparently. Jade was not in the mood for any nonsense, guys. None. So I'm pretty sure we've got all the targets in this area already, so we don't need to look for more targets here. We should pretty much just get the last two um, sparkles and fight all one of every enemy, and we should be good. We should be fine. 
And this is going to be very quick. This going to be like a 15 or 20 minute episode. So it's going to be a little bit of a shorter one today. But tomorrow, you guys are going to be like, oh my lord, can this episode end? We did it, darlings! But it's all balanced, I guess, you know? Put out a shorter episode and put out a longer episode. Maybe. You're obviously trying, you obviously want to try and keep the episodes roughly the same on time, you know? It's just more proficient that way, you know? But, uh. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. We didn't see any silver doors here, ironically. There wasn't one silver door here. I mean, obviously there's the magical seal door in the, in the ruins, but there were no silver doors. Like, the doors that we need a silver key to open. Yep, looks pretty complete to me. Let's get in here. Hello, how do we got all of them? Yes, I've got all of them. Sweet. Let's head on into the well. There's only been four locations that have had silver doors so far. Um, considering we've done like five or six of these locations, really, that's actually pretty interesting. Do, 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 do. Sparkly. See, guys, you gotta go for the sparklies. What about that sparkly lifestyle, man? Do, 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 do. Awesome. And now we're just going to end, speak to every single person. Maybe rest up till daytime, do a daytime run since the episode is so short already. We can take a few minutes to go see if there's any different monster spawns in the daytime. Why not? Not like I've got anywhere to be. And the next episode is going to be Dungeons, which is going to be a much longer episode. Oh, the boys rest. I suppose you're here on holiday, are you? Well, this is this series has become very popular with mainly the city folk trying to get away from it all. The business has been booming ever since the world began peaceful again. We do have room for you if you'd like to stay. I mean, you've come all the way. You might as well spend the night. I just happen to come across this place on my travels. There's not much here, but it's ever so pretty. Some say luminary, the Hobbit of evil, but I don't believe it one bit. He's made me a believer, which is why I decided to sing his praise. Okay, here goes. I can't wait longer. Let's do this. Your selflessness is only abetted by your bold bravery. Urge your shining star, our guiding light, our luminary. Oh, hero, a thousand visits from you is never too much. Tell me you'll never stop. Dude, that song sucks, dude. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it just it really does suck. Hello. Oh, the shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what's the problem? With these things? Lots of these say I don't have them. Which is, like, definitely, uh... I'm not gonna say it's wrong. There are quite a few of these things I don't have. But mainly, I do have a lot of these things. But I've just upgraded them in the mini forge already. So, they are plus threes or something. And the game doesn't register me as having it. I really hate that. I wish they didn't do it like that. It's not only in Zarjus that tortured souls have been bound to this mortal plane of the boring monster. I pray that such souls may one day find peace and make the journey back to the world tree. It's holy heart. The same journey you have so kindly helped my fallen kin folk to complete. I just super yawned. You guys don't even understand. That was the yawn of destiny, man. Okay. A couple of books to read in here, but I think none of them are of those books that we are looking for also um i can't remember now but i think there was actually pots hidden behind um some of these windmills out there we might want to make a just a little run to all the windmills and click on them it's nothing to get too excited about but we've been seeing a few more tourists coming to the region of late business is a bit better than it was thank goodness as was all because of that lumia fellow well he's done his part now it's down to us that looks so good i could really go for some of that right about now what is that what are you making, lady? Sausage and potato, maybe? It's like a, a there's like a pork sausage and then like what looks like two Russians to me and then maybe two potato pieces. I don't know, man. But the book was well just a ruin. Wow. Asking him. Okay, so there's not one of those books. I thought it might be actually for a second. I was like, hmm. but no. Let's head upstairs. Quickly loot the F out of this building and then uh, make a date time. Have you heard the rumors? People are saying the rumor you know. The one who defeated the Lord of Shadows. Once spent the night here. I wonder if he took two looked out of this window just like I'm doing now. Gosh, could you imagine meeting him? What an honor that would be. Hmm. 
I don't think I would care too much if I made the Luminary for some reason. I don't know why. It doesn't seem like something I'll be really into. I'm just, just, uh, I'm just gonna put that out there. Bum, bum. Recipe book Cosmith. We are still, but I already know all the recipes. The thing is, we don't know if we actually know all the recipes in this game or not. Hi, I'm just to get, some, get to the casino up in Octagonia, but the people I'm trying to seem to have taken a shine to this place. Doesn't look like we'll be leaving anytime soon. She's super cute. She's adorable. Final shiny. We have all the shinies. So let's go rest up until daytime. Then we do a quick daytime expression. That's gonna be the end of the episode. So this is a very, very, very short one. Um, obviously difficult to plan ahead very well because some of these areas are gonna be like super long and others are gonna be super short depending on the like how big a city in the area is or something like that. So it is kind of difficult for me because I'm like obviously want to keep the episode kind of even. But at the same point, I also do need to also like realize that if I did the Zwarjus region as well as the Dungeous region, it, then it would just be way long again. So uh, very hard to find a, a good balance. But um, yeah, it's gonna check for any monsters or anything we haven't found, like a daytime exclusive maybe. I don't think there will be, but you never know. See, there's a bow behind the freaking window. I knew it. Means I need to check. Both, all three windows. Or well, in this case, both windows, but there's only two windows. Um, that's the same. Those are the same. Fort those, fort those, fort those, fort the troll. That's the same. So far, other than these little ham things, these ham sandwiches, everything else looks pretty much the same right now. I'm not really seeing any new enemy types. There's a guy we can speak to, who we could always speak to, we can speak to him again. I mean, okay, let's just run straight into the ham sandwiches and say, guys. I think that's a great idea. Up, up, Super easy. Victory! And it's rich, We got a party hat? Just I've searched every inch of this place for legendary treasures of soldiers, but I guess I've got to face the facts. There's nothing here. What a waste of time. Oh, did you go into that freaking magic sealed area and check that? Because. If you didn't, then you didn't search every nook and cranny of this area. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick, quick run through here. I'm gonna go that windmill check on that windmill quickly because I didn't really give that a good gander. And then if that's the, if we don't find anything that's the end of this episode, it's gonna be a very, 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 very quick, very, very short one. But that's the largest region for you. Very small, very um, minuscule area. Not much going on here. A little bit shitty, but what can I do? Yeah, that's it, guys. That's it. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the bottom section of the Zardus region because I think that the um, bottom section is the best way to handle it. We can go through the bottom, explore from one side all the way through exploring the uh, castle area, and then we'll end the episode off by stopping probably either in front of Octagonia or in front of that, um, that, that like going on with the game section. Because there's that light, we saw that light, you guys saw that light, I saw that light, we all saw that light. And that light seems to be what the game is telling me to go on with, so... A little bit like... It's not that I'm worried to go on with the game or anything, it's just like... I still want to explore the rest of this whole entire game. I want 100% this entire game. Now to do that, I do need of course to... 100% dungeon so as well, so it's kind of like... It's kind of like difficult. But I think I will, I think I will be doing the entirety of dungeons in the next episode, just so it can be... I'm pretty sure we did everything that we've explored every area, we fought one of every monster, we got every pot and barrel we could find, we got every shiny on the map, we even got the shinies that were, I mean this one's just respawned by the way, but we did get this one, I promise, uh, this one down here. Um, we even went into the well, we rested, we read every book, we spoke to every person except for the save, save point lady, who was the church lady, uh, the nun, I didn't speak to her, so maybe, you know, maybe she told me something, I don't know, but I doubt it. For now though, I think that's a great place to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. A little bit of a shorter one. I hope you guys don't mind too much. Maybe you like it. Maybe you like the fact that a little shorter is you can just watch a quick one and then have a nice little 
Dragon Quest Breather until tomorrow is very long dungeon region. Because let's all be honest, we know tomorrow's dungeon region is going to be very, very, very long. So for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time with more Dragon Quest 11. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please subscribe. Please hit that like button. This is Dragon Quest 11 post-game exploration 100%. And I hope you guys are having a good time watching it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.